Michael Winterbottom doesn't shoot in the conventional way, does he? Not at all. I mean, not the convention that I know. Uh, and in fact, for me, it's, it's probably the most exciting process I've ever been involved with because there's nobody there except him and the actors. There's no crew really to speak of. There's no, there are no lights. There are no setups in the formal sense, right? None at all. He's the, shooting. The, the camera is about half the size of that one. And rehearsals? No rehearsals. As it, well, what you have is a kind of period where you get to know each other. And, and you know, I, when I met the, the Willa and Perla, who play my daughters, um, we were given a small budget and told to go buy food and cook lunch in Italy. And uh, if, you know, that, that can feel a little contrived and awkward at first, but we, you, that was a, we got to know each other pretty quickly as a result of it because we were forced to. We then given a little budget and told to go buy uh, the furnishings and the props for, the, for our apartment. And again, you know, we felt like we were sort of playing, at, playing at it a little bit. But by the time we were on the set, We'd done that stuff. We, we, were, we have the same reference points. We were there we're together when we bought those cushions and the little magnets on the refrigerator and all that stuff. Those were stuff we, we chose. Do you ever say to yourself, looking at those navigational stakes, hey, does somebody know where we're going with this film? The thing is that Michael's reputation now is, is, so, uh, is so solid um, that... You, you, you're, I mean, he's the pull into doing the film in the first place. I mean, he's, he's what you need in terms of a, of a compass or I'd, I'd rather have Michael there than a script I understood. Well, um, what, what is his intent in doing it that way? Is it to get a more natural performance from an actor or is it to elicit reality? I think he, he resists b b being analyzed in this way, so it makes me cautious. Um, I think there's just something extremely truthful, and I'm not using truth with a big capital T. I just think that you can actually, if you describe, I mean, if you were to write something, you, if you, you actually write the way somebody puts sugar in their tea and stirs it, there's a way of writing that that is so vivid that it becomes absolutely compelling, even though the activity itself is completely banal. I find it truthful. I find it truthful. When I watch a film like Geneva, every time it goes somewhere where I think, oh, here we go, there's a resolution at the end of this strand, there isn't really. It's not a willful pulling the rug from under you. And it's not a, a kind of messing with your expectations. I feel it just eludes resolution the way life does.